The Meddlesome Meeples present The Quest Report with Matt and Richard. It's kind of like a Euro, isn't it, in itself, in the yeah. way you play it? But with the theme of like a, an Ameritrash sort of RPG game. Yeah, <laughs> Ameritrash. Yeah, it's a little bit like if you're going to start a game like uh, Baldur's Gate no what's it Baldur's Gate yeah it is Baldur's Gate that kind of thing um, and at the beginning you kind of keep clicking to roll for different attributes <laughs> to try and get the best ones that's what this game is you're trying to manipulate the dice into the right positions and, and I love the it right when a scores. game uses a dice a dice in a weird way like yeah. it's a bit like Alien Frontiers and also like Biblios it's mm. like you you are rolling the dice on this game yeah. but then you are kind of putting the dice in different places and then like they're your numbers to do things with yeah. after that yeah and on each each round everyone gets to choose one of the dice that's available in front of them in turn order don't they so that's mm. it's, it's really interesting I did enjoy this a lot more than I thought I would yeah I thought well, this is like it's like taking the least fun part of a quest um, but then I kind of got it after a while what we were actually doing was mm. it was quite enjoyable actually yeah. I've played this a few times I've enjoyed it every time I don't feel when I played it, it was worth the the, the RRP that I paid for it, because I pay, I think I paid something like fifty five pounds for the game. I wouldn't and have I didn't, guessed that price for this. I, no. Some of the things that you're getting will be like traits and stuff, won't yeah. they? And like skills, and this is where your alignment comes in as well, because that's how mm. you move the alignment. Like certain things, you might buy it, it might be good, it might help you, but it might move you towards evil. Yeah. <laughs> and if like you're going through good characters, life. yeah, it can make you evil. And that might be the wrong way. So you'll end up with less points in the end. So um, you feel... I felt a bit like my character was doing stuff at that point. Mm. It's like, well, my character just went out and did a evil thing or a good thing. Mm. It's the right length, I think, because it finishes... You know you've only got a certain amount of rounds because you've you've got to fill the dice and once the everyone places their last dice and then you're going to be getting a dice at the same time then it it finishes automatically so it's not a long game yeah. it's an easy game to learn mm -hmm. but you do have quite a number of options on your turn as to what am i going to do what which dice am i going to take which initiative do i want which card do i want to get from the market yeah which ability am i going to use There's which trade skill i'm going to use you know is a good thing the um yeah each attribute has a different ability doesn't it when you mm. place a dice there and that's that was hard to work out I found that, that's yeah. where the strategy comes in because you think well I can put this one here and use the ability but then I might want that ability in a bit and I've used up all yeah. all of my ones of that one so I can never use that again Actually, no we probably will play this again at some point I would play we? this yeah. again definitely um and I did enjoy it I do think it's overpriced for what it is but it is definitely an enjoyable game. So mm. it depends on, on your value. I mean, you do get a huge number of dice. I think if you wanted to go out and buy a load of dice, it might be economical to buy the game. <laughs> and yeah. just have a ton of multi you know, different coloured dice. But this is one that I enjoyed. I enjoyed it as well. Yeah, like I said, I was a bit sceptical at first. But yeah, once I kind of got into the strategy, I kind of I found it more immersive than I thought I would. So... Um, it is quite an interesting little game to play if you like things that are in a fantasy setting then mm. it is very good and I do quite enjoy that in a, in a game I really like the randomness of it mm. I think that might really annoy some people that their class and their backstory and uh, their race doesn't really make a lot of sense I love it when it doesn't but make sense but I love it when it doesn't make sense <laughs> yeah. it's just because it, I say it's random and then based on that uh, Based on that, it's going to affect how I'm going to play. So I'm going to be constantly trying to do something different mm. um, and trying to get things into different positions. And I really enjoyed that. Uh, and right up until the last placement of the die, you're trying to figure out how best to organise your dice on your different columns and which yeah. which uh, attribute scores you're going to try and go for if you've not been able to get them all. And It's not like it's an, an easy game in the sense of oh, well, I know exactly what I'm doing f after the first round and, you know, I'm just basically mechanically doing things in the game. Mm -hmm. You learn the rules very quickly, but after that, you're thinking about how to maximise each turn. Yeah, this is an enjoyable game. Mm, yeah, I enjoyed it. 
farewell quester. To find out about other productions by the Middlesome Meeples, then check out our channel or rendezvous with us at middlesomemeeples.com. Until next time, Quester, farewell and keep thine axe sharp.